But coming from that pretty mouth, the truth is fitting. Cause you ain't never talking loud and you know plenty. You know what I'm talking about, cause you just get me. Yeah, you so pretty. If everything is dipped in gold, then baby, it will never grow. Everything sweet ain't sugar cold. On this channel, we get into affordable beauty tips and synthetic wig reviews. And today we're back with another synthetic wig review. So this is a part of Audrey's Melted Hairline. Um, Y'all know there's different lines that they have and this is the melted one. Um, this, I wanna give a shout out to Sam's Beauty for sending over this unit. So thank you to Sam's Beauty. And y'all can shop the link directly in my bio if you're interested in purchasing this unit after watching this review. So the first thing I like to get into are my first thoughts and impressions. So I, my first thoughts and impressions when I took it out of the packaging was that she doesn't look as sleek as she looks on the sock card. And so I was like, that's definitely going to be my goal when I'm installing this unit. And I also really wanted to wear her glue list. So I was looking to see if there was any indication that I could. And right here in the circle, it tells you that it can't be worn glue list because it has an attached elastic band. Okay. She's not as sleek, so I definitely wanted to be careful with her. I was like, definitely no styling tools, no brushes, no anything um, put inside the actual body of the hair because I didn't want her to be frizzy. And I really wanted to focus on getting her as sleek around the crown like it is showing on the model. So those are my first thoughts and impressions. The next thing I like to get into are the pros and the cons, starting off with the cons so we can end on a lighter note with the pros. Well, the cons for me is definitely this hairline because there really isn't much of a hairline. I'm going to, well, oops, I'm exposing myself. So there isn't really much of a hairline and that's simply because it's also a T-part unit. So even if you plucked it, there just really isn't much room for plucking. There just isn't much there. It is definitely like you got to 
pluck out, you got to take out some of your baby hairs, which y'all yeah, let me know how I did on my baby hairs. I really like this size specifically. It's very cute, but I feel like it's imperative for a style like this because of the lack of hairline. You're gonna need to, you know, pull out some baby hairs, cut some sideburns, something to really indicate that, something to really give this unit some character. And even the side part model has emphasis on her baby hair on this side specifically. And even her hairline looks like it has more of a hairline than this unit. Hers looks a lot more fuller. So that's another con. And another con is that this hairline just looks a lot fuller on the model, but in person, there just isn't much there. There's not much volume. Um, I did put a little bit of wax and try to tease it up a bit, but it's just not giving whatever they did here. That's it. So that's it for the cons. Let's move on to the pros. Pros for me, definitely this, um, Prop the lip, the color of this hair for sure. So this is in red velvet and I love the way it looks with this style. So I feel like everything complements each other. Um, I also thought that this hair was really, oh, another pro for me is the lace itself. I'm gonna get into the details of the lace um, later on in the video, but the lace was so soft and I feel like I had to take a second just to touch it because I'm not used to synthetic wigs lace being super soft i'm used to being super rough actually so the fact that this unit actually has super soft lace i was like okay i like that now what impact did it have on the unit not that much what impact did it have on the install not that much but i just thought that it was important to note that she has a soft lace and um she was easy to tint as well but you also just don't need much of it y'all like it doesn't matter that the lace was easy to tint because you're not going to see anything it's just a t-part unit but like the hair was really really soft we're taking it out of the packaging so that's another pro for me is that that's important i feel like sometimes with styles like this that are pretty crinkled softness just isn't a typical characteristic so i'm okay let's get into the features of this unit as um, according to the stock card so so there are seven special colors in this unit i'm wearing one of the seven and that's red velvet um she is 28 inches long i try to show y'all a bit of the length of that she's coming down like really right to my crack she's coming right above my crack like it says here she has soft hd transparent lace so i did note that as a pro and they weren't lying like this, the lace is super duper soft oh i love the way they styled the in the model's hair right here i didn't even see because a lot of times i don't open the stock card until i get to this part of my review or my film days and i love that it's like a little like straight back with the little bangs on the side it's actually very very cute and um what a way to like make it look what a way to be innovative with the limits that you have with this unit because it's not super flexible like there's no 13 by 4 frontal like it's just a t-part she's supposed to have five inch deep parting she's supposed she has a pre-attached pre elastic band baby hairs um and like i said she's she has the you have the ability to wear her glueless and if y'all have been watching any of my last couple of videos y'all know i'm on a glueless wig kick and I told y'all I'm having a glueless wig summer. It's just way too hot for me to be trying to install wigs right now, even if I am just using a spray. I just don't wanna go anywhere and risk my lace lifting. Like that's just, that's whack to me. But for the last part, ratings. And I would rate her a 7.5 out of 10. I just think that for no particular reason, I think that she is just a simple unit with a T-part, not much to it but she's reliable and easy to put on and um she looks good but it's not the most amazing unit i've seen um she's just cute and simple but i do think if you want to try out like a cute little style quick little style if you don't know how else to do your hair i think this is the wig for it and i don't know if i said the name of the wig her the name of the wig is joss if i haven't said it so joss i think is a just a simple unit um you know, like if you want to go out somewhere in a cheap style like this, I think that's what this unit exists for. But if you do like it, she will be in the description. That is it for today's video. If you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow your girl on socials. All of them. Instagram, TikTok, yes. And um, that's really it. Thank you all once again for watching. I love you and stay beautiful. Got tired of you, shit, you almost took my mind